I added Styler. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know that I've made like many mesh methods before. I've made videos on different mesh methods, but there are still many people with mesh bases, and this time I'm going to showcase a method to how to build a mesh base. Now, obviously, most mesh spots are blocked by wildcard because they have the um, mesh protection, which prevents any structure from being placed there. Now, you can't build in those spots, but for spots that aren't blocked, and yeah, you, and is in the mesh, you can pretty much like just go in. It doesn't matter where it is, you can just go in any spots on most maps. Um, some maps you can't, but on most maps you can go in any spots that isn't like protected by wildcards, um, you know, anti-mesh, and yeah, you can just build there. So um, this uh, method was actually like a combination of the methods from different people. So I'll put all the credits on the screen right now. But yeah, I, I pretty much combined like different infos different people gave me and like just made this method up together. It's kind of interesting, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys will, um, yeah, will know. All right, but yeah. So here's the course right now. Now we're currently on center, right? So this is the spot where I think it works. Obviously, I didn't test an official, duh. But yeah, um, on single player at least, I am able to play structure here. I have collision and everything. All my settings is pretty much identical to what you'd have on official. So yeah, um, this is like the bottom of the map pretty much. Like all the way to the like far left corner of the map, like upper left corner of the map. There's like, it's under the waterfall. It's on center. But yeah, there is like this ledge somewhere around here that you can pretty much just pull out the method I just said. So I put a racer there, so it's right here. I'm going to show you the chords again. Just give me a second. So the chords are right here on the screen right now. So yeah, this this place is I think broken because the outer part, I think you can actually fit a teleport. I'm going to test it out later, but I think you can actually fit a teleport out here. So you can fit like a teleport in the mesh and also a teleport out of the mesh. Now, the outside is weird in a way where some place you can actually play structures while the other place you can't. So, don't know how it works, but yeah, I guess we'll just roll with it. Uh, I'm just gonna like place a foundation somewhere around here. And yeah, uh, let's test like teleporters. I think you can place. Um, let me see. Yep, you can actually place a teleporter right there. So, yeah, points outside, it's a bit scuffed, but you know. You can like build it properly if you want to, I'm just here to showcase it. So yeah, this is like the wall that people have to go through if they want to build a mesh base. And I'm going to showcase you exactly how to do it. Now you need a racer with a platform saddle. Again, level doesn't matter. Pretty much everything I do doesn't matter, like the level. So what you want to do is make sure you have a racer with a platform. You want to trial that and you want to have a griffin. Again, level does not matter. Now there, this glitch works for many different things. I'm going to showcase the mesh methods or mesh base methods right now. But yeah, in the future I'll be showcasing different methods of the Griffin because Griffin is actually very glitch. -like. So what you want to do is set it on highest follow distance and wizard to follow you. Kind of stick its head like halfway through the mesh. You have to position it pretty much exactly where I did, and then you want to throw the racer through the mesh. It is possible, by the way. So yeah. Sometimes it will bounce off, but if you throw it properly, it will actually go through the mesh and it will land on the other side. So again, if it doesn't work for like one location, you can always switch it up. You know, Wildcard has coded some weird shit on Griffins, man. This thing is very, very off. But yeah, as you can see, the racer pretty much went straight through the mesh, or the crowdpot went straight through the mesh, landed on the other side, and the racer popped up. And yeah. So what you want to do is you want to place a bed on top of the racer. Now it is actually harder than it looks, let me say it that much. So yeah, um, what you want to do if you can't actually do it is just whistle the racer, whistle it like a bit closer to where you are. And yeah, uh, just kind of do the exact same thing as you did with the crowd pod, just kind of like angle it like 45 degrees. And yeah, just dismount, mount, change position and do it a few times. And you should be able to pull it off. Alright, I'm just gonna stay here and test it until I get it. I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, and I um, I think I got the right spot, hopefully. Yep, there you go. The bet's right there. 
as you can see, I managed to spam click and place a bet while the racer is in the mesh. So what you want to do is just place another racer like outside the mesh, right? And then yeah, you can place a bet outside, you can place a transmit, and obviously you're not going to like fast travel over there, you're gonna upload yourself and then download and spawn back on the bed in the racer with like literally the entire base on your body. Put it in the racer and you can just walk it where you want. Now I'm not gonna spend time doing that, like, I'm busy, so I'm just gonna fast travel, but for you, you know you have to like travel off servers, travel back with like a transmitter, teleport and stuff like that. Now there it is like a one way trip, you can walk out of the base but you actually can't walk back in and shit. Well, I only placed one bet, I forgot the cooldown, so uh, let's just fast forward a bit, and uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully it doesn't take that long. Alright, and we're back. So yep, just quickly sp just respawn, or for you, just spawn on the bed after you transfer off servers, and I'm going to turn to GCM. You should have all the transfers and teleporters on you right now, and you can just walk to the base and place everything down. Um, I'll just show you guys quickly, you can just like fucking place some foundations down here, it's, yeah, it's kinda just like that. So this is like only one spot that, you know, cause I know this is like a mesh base and this method allows you to get into it, obviously there's, this is not the only mesh base, but I don't wanna keep you guys here for like two hours, so, yeah, I'm just gonna showcase this space, I know like people have built mesh base here before, but yeah, this Method just pretty much allows you to build like a mesh base anywhere. Now this is like one of the bases on center. It's bases on Ragnarok. Can't do it on Ab, which is good. Can't do it on Jesses because you can't access Griffin. But there are other teams that still works. But generally the Griffin is like the main dino for this game. So yeah, you kind of just like you can see like you can place like structures all the way over here. This is like a huge base, and people can't even raid you because they have to like go in from that exact exact spot using that exact method. So yeah, this is like definitely something that's extremely broken. Obviously this is terms of service, so if you build, if you build here you expect yourself to get banned, but there are people who's building here and yeah, I'm just here to showcase this place location. Uh, obviously don't build it if your server doesn't allow it, so yeah. Um, again, like I said like early in the video, there's a lot of like methods with the Griffin that allows you to pretty much bypass the mesh. I'll be showcasing like a bunch of them and as you can see, you can also place like heavy turrets here. So yeah, you can place like everything here. It's pretty much like above the mesh and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll be showcasing a bunch of Griffin's method in the future. And I don't know. I guess I'll see what I'll showcase. But yeah, that's about it from me for this method. And I'll see all legends in the next one. Peace out.